What's up guys, my name is Aaron and today I'm going to be reviewing I Remember. This is the second studio album by Aluna George. They're an electronic duo from England. Aluna is the singer and George is the producer. I've really liked this group for a long time. Uh, the first time I heard them was on Disclosure's first album and ever since then I've always been really interested in whatever music that they're coming out with. I liked their first album a lot. I thought the album was really good, really catchy and stuff. So I was really looking forward to this album that was coming out and this album is really good. I was really surprised at how good it was. I feel like it's definitely up there for like one of the best pop albums of the year. And maybe of albums of the year. I think this album is really great. Beats are really good. They're really on point. The production is really on point. It's really kind of unique for dance music I feel like but really like catchy. I feel like it's like very consistently really great. Um, the song Not About Love kind of has a different feeling to it. It kind of reminds me of a dance version of Earned It by The Weeknd. Um, I like the kind of swagger to the song. Like It kind of has like a like a pomp vibe to it. I really like that song a lot. Hold Your Head High. Um, I feel like that song is really catchy from beginning to end. It kind of had like a building and then kind of like a climax and then it kind of had like a beat drop. I was kind of thrown off because I, w I wasn't really expecting it because the song was so catchy that I really wasn't uh, like paying attention to it the first time I was listening to it, so that was kind of like a cool surprise, and I just really love that track. I feel like that probably is like one of my favorites on this album. And the song Jelly, I love the upbeat feeling and then the kind of swagger to that track. Um, that main synth line that's on that song is so catchy and really hard. I really like how that synth line kind of interweaves in that song. Um, I feel like the production was really like interesting and really unique for dance music, and I thought it was really good, like very good, very catchy. Definitely something you could dance to and stuff. I feel like the production was on point for the most part. Um, I felt like there were some interesting themes too. With dance music, you don't really expect there to be like actual thought to the lyrics and stuff, but I felt like a couple of songs there were that were kind of unique that I didn't really expect. I thought that was cool. Like on the song Mediators, it's about Aluna like kind of being there for her friend while she's kind of going through a breakup and kind of being there and kind of being supportive of her friend. Um, I feel like it fits like the laid back vibe of the track, but it also is like an interesting theme that you don't really see in pop music. I feel like it's a kind of cool song, you know, to kind of be there for her friend. It's a kind of uplifting message. Um, I thought it was kind of cool that there was some actual thought to the lyrics. I feel like a lot of pop music and dance music doesn't really do that, and I feel like it was cool that this album did. And I like her voice a lot. She sounds really sweet and really innocent throughout the songs and I really like like how her tone is throughout the entire album but there's also some kind of certain edge to her voice that I like like on the song Heartbreak Horizon she sounds like she has some like power and kind of anguish on the chorus and it kind of fits the themes of that song on the song Hold Your Head High she sounds indignant on that track um, which is kind of cool to hear from her and I feel like throughout the entire album she creates really interesting and really catchy vocal melodies that stick with you. For the most part, it's really great. I had a few minor issues with this album. I feel like the features really didn't add anything to the album. Whenever the features kind of appeared, I was just like, I just want to hear Luna's voice and I just wanted it to stop. I felt like the features really didn't add a lot for me. I know that this song kind of blew them up a little bit, but I cannot stand the song I'm in control. I cannot stand it. I didn't really like it from the beginning, and then at my old job, they always played it, and I just really don't like that song. But other than that, I really didn't have any problems with this. I felt like it was very catchy, really unique dance production, and really consistently really great to me. I felt like there were some interesting themes on this album. The lyrics were actually kind of thought out and weren't just, you know, kind of bland dance music. And I feel like Luna has like a unique, catchy, like, vocal performance that is still really consistent from the last album that they had. Um, the minor things that I uh, had a problem with is I felt like the features really didn't add anything to the album and I don't like the song I'm in control. But other than that, there's really nothing I could really complain about this album. I'm gonna give it an A minus. I feel like this was definitely one of the stronger dance pop albums of the year, and it's probably one of the best albums of the year, I feel like. This is definitely like a dark horse contender for me to kind of be on my top 10, top 15 list of the year. So what did you guys think? Did you like the album? Did you hate the album? Let me know in the comments what you thought, and thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.